In sad memory of the 418 Maine people who lost their lives to drug overdose in 2017, our administration will create the Director of Opiate Response, a person who will marshal the collective power and resources of this state to stem the tide of this epidemic. Governor Mills promising to tackle the opioid epidemic in part with a new state position, the Director of Opiate Response. That concept has been part of her campaign platform, and the idea is getting some generally positive feedback on social media. Kaylee Joe tweeted, as someone who lost a sister to an overdose in February, I thank you for your empathy, <clears throat> excuse me, and attention to this epidemic. Linda wrote, adding robust mental health access could help sustain progress. She suggested changing reimbursement rules for providers. But Dave tweeted, what specifically is the common sense approach? Creating another government office only spends more taxpayer money on a problem that ultimately can only be fixed by those who want to clean up their lives. So we wanted to ask the recovery coaches and people who help those struggling with drug use every day to see where they stand on the concept. You never know. Sometimes it could be um, twice in a day. Sometimes it could be four times a week. Justin Reed is no stranger to this room at the Scarborough Police Department. As a recovery coach with Operation Hope, he helps people struggling with drug use get into detox or treatment. Early on in recovery, somebody may not know where to turn. Justin also battled addiction to heroin and now helps others. Narcan, widely available, medication-assisted treatment, recovery coaches, these things will be a reality. During her inauguration speech Wednesday night, Governor Janet Mills promised swift action in tackling the opioid epidemic, including a director of opioid response. Thursday, she outlined what the position would look like. You would have said, you would have appointed somebody to be in charge of this, to report to you every single day about what can be done and what we are doing to defeat this epidemic and stop it in its tracks. And that's what I'm uh, talking about doing. So it reminds us why we do what we do. Scarborough Police Chief Robbie Moulton believes this new position can make an impact on society, not just the state's budget. I think you would find that it's a lot cheaper to help these people through this issue and break them out of the cycle and not have them continuing to go in the rescue, continuing to go in the hospital, continuing to steal, continuing to go in the court system, continuing to be in jail. And I'm hoping that whoever she appoints to this position will listen to the people in recovery. A man looking for detox. People like Justin, who help those looking for help at their lowest points. And they hear that I've also been there. You can see a little bit of hope in their eyes because they say, Wow, it seems like you're doing okay today. Kind of opens opens their ears and mind to like, all right, well, maybe I can do this. Chief Moulton says that Janet Mills reached out to their Operation Hope program before she became governor to learn what services are needed.